y'all. It's the cute coffee gal here with another episode of my uh, decades challenge here uh, in The Sims 4. This is our third episode of this series, and if you'll recall from our last part, we have two new additions to our family, Rose and Robert. So we are currently uh, the next morning after their birth. As you can see, it is a little bit early here. Uh, the babies are waking them up at four something or other in the morning let's see if he needs anything as you'll recall we can only breastfeed so we want to make sure claire is the one that does that and she is very inspired by her little babies that's great oh here's another painting we can sell so in this particular uh episode not only do we want to get to know our babies a little bit more but we also want to see if we can get those last few plants um from oasis springs so that we can add them to our garden and we have got to pay our bills if you'll remember we were having a really hard time doing that um <laughs> in our last episode i think we're really close to being able to pay them now let's see we're about 300 simoleons short so if we um, come over here, I actually, I downloaded a new CC um, refrigerator and I actually think it may be less expensive. So what all is in here? Let's pull this out and then I'm gonna hop into buy mode real quick because I noticed last time, you know, I, that we have like Chinese food and stuff in the fridge, which is not really historically accurate. Um, so I found this really great CC fridge that I thought would work well for the first few, um, come on, the first few uh, decades here. I don't know why my keyboard is being so funky. There we go. So let's just search here and there it is. So it's got these little um, canning items that are in the top and then the bottom part is the, the fridge. So um, that should uh, work really well for us, I think. We'll just pop that back in there. Yeah, so it just has all the same functions as a normal fridge. Just looks a little bit more uh, period appropriate and conveniently was cheaper. So I'm going to actually go ahead and have them pay the bills. Let's have, let's see, how's he doing? Oh, he's still like really hungry. Oh, and she's going to take a bath perfectly. Before you do that, go pay your bills real quick. And then, then you can go and take a bath. Oh, and use the outhouse. You're just a hot mess, sweet Esther. <laughs> she was like, yeah, those babies, they keep you up at night. Um, <laughs> all right, so we've got her taking care of that. We've got her doing a painting. Of, and she's already at painting level five. Wow, she is like really leveling up fast, um, which is awesome. So I actually think that the first thing I'm going to do is have... Um, oh, look. They're not eating all their food. I'm going to have Samuel go back to Oasis Springs after he eats this. Why is he not sitting down to eat that? Oh, I have no idea why not. All right. Um, and so that way he can go pick up those last few things that hopefully are done growing at this point so that we can have them for our farm. We're going to leave everybody else here. I think that that's an okay thing for us to do. Um, and then I do have uh, one other place that I would like for us to go during this episode. Um, I actually created a, um, a lot that is, it's uploaded on the gallery. So if you want to check that out, uh, my ID is cute coffee gal, but it is a uh, local church, which I, I think that that's something that would have been a part of the lives and culture for a family back then is to have a, a local parish that they would go to. And um, I wanted to go check that out a little bit, see what that's all about, um, and show that to y'all. So we'll probably squeeze that in at the end of the episode here. Um, but let's go ahead and, oh, his fun is down. Poor guy. Let's go ahead and get him changed into his regular clothes and get him changed. And then we're going to go by himself. Nobody's coming with him. All right, you guys, I just went to Oasis Springs and the things are still not ready to be uh, picked. So <laughs> it's just crazy to me. So I'll, I'll go do that off camera for you guys. Um, I know that that's, that's not the most exciting thing to watch. So let's see if there's anything that needs to be harvested here. 
and then we will um, call our farm hands to come and help. Let's see, he did find a couple of things when we were there. So that topaz and um, some chrysanthemums. I think we already planted chrysanthemums, didn't we? Yeah, oh, but we only planted two of them. Let's, we'll, we'll go ahead and plant a third one. I don't know why I have three of everything, but that for some reason is happening, so. <laughs> Let's see, we'll plant that there. And then he's got some more mushrooms and some strawberries. Let's put those actually in the fridge. And what is this? Sage. Oh, yeah, let's put that in the fridge, too. That'll be great. And then we can open that. Oh, we'll put that book back in the bookcase. Then we can sell this little trophy. Great. And then hopefully, I think he's probably done harvesting things. So, oh, nope, not quite yet. Go ahead and get all those harvested, buddy. Is that everything? Awesome. So, oh, we're going to, no, we're not joining the upper crust. Um, let's go ahead. We can sell those snapdragons. They are nice and expensive. I like it. So we're going to call a club gathering. And that way they can help us take care of all of this. And let's see. I was going to evolve a few things. There we go. Is that all of them? What else is looking sparkly? Oh, these are looking sparkly. Here we go. Oh, maybe it was just that one that was looking sparkly. <laughs> okay, cool. So we'll have him go do those, and then after that, he can come and join uh, his mother and play in a little bit of chess. Hopefully that'll make him feel a little better. We have another painting. Oh my goodness, what is this? That is a very strange, oh, it's a pop art painting. We'll pretend like she didn't do that because pop art didn't exist. Um, <laughs> so that's done. And then we have, uh, Clara wants to spend uh, another, let's see, another 700 simoleons on kids stuff. Well, we are gonna have to put together a, here, let's go ahead and paint again. We are gonna have to put together a nursery for them for when they get a little bit older, um, when they age up into toddlers. I think I'm going to probably make this be that room, so uh, if we can get some more simoleons there, we'll have enough to be able to spend on, on beds and things like that. So um, that'll be great there. And then once we uh, get done with that, I, I think I'm going to have her finish this painting and then we'll head off to the church. All right, you guys. So I've gone ahead and left Esther at home with the babies. Um, I figure... We don't want to automatically send them to daycare because daycare wouldn't have existed. <laughs> so we're just traveling at the moment with Clara and Samuel. And so this is our house here um, that we have our big farm. You can kind of see the crops and whatnot here. So you can see we've got quite a bit of land here to expand. So that's something that we'll do, you know, down the line. Uh, but then right over here across the water, you see our little local parish. It is classed as a park, so um, that is helpful for uh, if you want to have a wedding there, if you want to um, have kids come and play and do little play dates. So a few different things that it can accomplish. Um, and that's where we're going to travel now. So I figured this is something that, you know, once they've had their babies, they um, may have gone to the church uh, as a, a way for them to get out of the house a little bit together, um, leaving their, you know, the newborns at home with uh, with the grandmother, with Esther. So that's kind of where my mind is at here. But I did want to show this to you guys um, so that you could kind of see this place. I figure it's probably something that will be a regular uh, spot for our Sims, at least for the first several decades um, until, you know, it becomes something that they can, they can go to bars and restaurants and things. So what we've got here, let me get the roof on here. So here is our church, and I don't know why the last roof is not showing up. 
Hmm, that's strange. There's another little roof there, but it's not showing for some reason. So what you can see here is that we've got some little sitting areas outside. We have a graveyard here, and this is somewhere that um, we may eventually put some of our Sims once they have uh, passed along. I think at the moment they're probably all going to be in the uh, family cemetery at the house, which unfortunately burned down in the fire, so it doesn't exist at the moment. There is no such thing as coffee. Make that go away, Clara. Um, <laughs> oh, it's almost Robert's birthday, so I bet it's almost roses as well. So we'll get them to be toddlers. That'll be exciting. We have this cute little pond here. Just kind of a sitting area for reflection. A little venue for an outdoor wedding. So that if you wanted to do that, you could have a little outdoor wedding. Kind of tucked back up here in the back is our play area. So we've got a little spot where you could sit and read or a mom could sit while they were waiting on their kids to play. A few more little sitting areas there in the jungle gym. So lots of fun stuff there. And I see a little neighborhood kid here, Judah. I'm not sure who he is. So um, that's kind of fun though. So anyway, let's go ahead and take the roof back off and we'll go inside so y'all can see that. So when you first go into the church, you've got the main little entrance area here. And I've got this little bird bath here. This was my way of doing a little baptismal font, if you will, uh, for, for having a baptism. So uh, that was, you know, let's pretend like this is holy water. And then we've got a couple of bathrooms here, of course. Off to this side, we have a fun little kid's room that the, the kids can play in during the service with lots of little toys, little puppet show, sorts of fun things there. There is a staircase here that'll go upstairs. We'll show you that in a minute. And then this little room right here is the bride's room. So if it's, you know, preparing for the wedding, ready to get dressed, get ready to go, that's where the bride would get ready. Then we've got the main aisleway, and you'll see I do have some CC uh, church pews that are in here. I really like these a lot. When I uploaded it to the gallery, I did not include these. They're just regular benches, so you can uh, use those when you are... Um, if you want to have these church pews, I'll put the link uh, to where I got them down in the comments of this video. But then if you upload it from the gallery, um, or excuse me, download it from the gallery, you will not have these in the game. You'll need to add those if you want them. But that way it could be uploaded without having any CC. I also um, did have the, uh, didn't, or excuse me, I did not have the Vampires Pack when I originally created this slot um, because I... I was a, a real big holdout on putting vampires in my game because I didn't want the vampire gameplay in all of my game saves. <laughs> but then I found out that there was a cheat code to be able to um, to turn off vampire gameplay. So when that happened, I said, great, I want all the stuff now. So there are a few things like I think that this uh, book stand is from vampires. I think maybe um, some of the other... Uh, architectural elements in here may have been from vampires so um, that is not in the gallery either um, I think did I put yeah the organ is from vampires I think it was a piano in my original um, in my upload so just a few small little changes here and there um, also we do have in this little area back here um, let me get that up we do have a place here for like a little private prayer area for somebody I know that lots of churches do have those kind of things um, so yeah so here you can see the the, the bride room a little bit and then this fun little playful area for the kids so that's that's our downstairs area um, you do have the altar here um, this was my thought of uh, the Eucharist or communion was having you know a picture and here is a small little private chapel if you wanted to do a really small indoor ceremony for a wedding so we've got the indoor place and then there's the outdoor place um, and then if we take the walls back off so you go into this little hallway or there was a staircase at the front and you can see we've got lots of stuff going on up here. So, oh, y'all need to quit watching TV. Just keep talking to each other. That's fine. So we do have up here is the uh, little study area, little community area. If they wanted to use the church library, you can play some games here. Um, lots and lots of books, of course. And a fun area for people to watch videos together or movies. Little community bulletin board. So... That kind of stuff is fun for just the community aspect of, uh, of having the church. And then this is like the reception venue for if you were doing um, a wedding here. So we've got a full functioning kitchen that has all kinds of fun stuff in here. We also have a full functioning bar. 
as well as a little dance floor with the DJ booth, lovely tables for them to do a seated dinner. So really, this has kind of everything that you might potentially need if you were doing a wedding or if you were just having people hang out. Um, it's kind of a, a fun vibe, I thought. So that is available on the gallery, like I said. So if you're interested in putting that into your game, you can. Um, and yeah, so I just thought it would be kind of fun for our Sims to come here and hang out. Maybe they can meet some other people who live in the neighborhood. It seems like all they're interested in doing is eating, which I don't even know where this food came from. What is this? What is she eating? A ham and cheese made by herself. So she must have just pulled that out of the fridge. Um, so yeah, anyway... Um, so this is the local parish that I've got up on the gallery if you are interested in having it in your game. But what I'd actually like to do, I think, is have them come down here and have a little a little quiet moment together down by the little pond. You know, it's with the babies now in the house, quiet time is going to be at an absolute premium. Um, <laughs> so maybe just a, a little romantic evening here together in the in the local churchyard might be kind of fun. So... We'll have them come and sit here together. They are like super jazzed up on that coffee that they weren't supposed to be drinking. So I guess they had coffee back then. Let's see, we're gonna we're going to express our admiration for her. She's pretty awesome. She did just have have our children. I would like for you to go away. Who is this guy that's making them not happy? A little you kiss. Me what is his name? <laughs> Wolfgang Munch. I really wish he would go away. He's kind of ruining our vibe here. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And also, I really don't want you to have that stupid ham and cheese sandwich. There we go. See, this is so sweet. Whisper sweet nothings. Make a move. And then kiss, tell an engaging story. Oh, <laughs> they're so cute together. Oh, <laughs> they're so sweet. I love it. Yay. It's like, you know, we just had had our first little babies. I'm so excited. She said, yeah, me too. Don't you love little Robert and Rose? Yes, I do. Are you ready to have another? <laughs> it's, uh, it is that, you know, that time of life where they uh, would have had multiple children very quickly together. Oh, they're so sweet. <laughs> She's like all proud of herself here. All right, I think I'm going to send them home. They're both getting kind of tired here, so I'm going to send them on back to the house. And, um, yeah, we'll see you back home. All right, and so we are back at the house, and after their lovely romantic evening together, uh, our sweet little couple is having a private moment, as private as you can with, you know, two babies in the room with you. And let's see what Esther is up to. She's actually doing good, isn't she? Let's have her clean all of this up. And um, I think I'll have her then come and do a little painting since she's awake. I know it's getting late, uh, but she's like not tired at all. So maybe have her help us get a little more money. Wouldn't be too bad. Well, Sweet Pea, if you're tired, get back in the bed. There you go. All right, then. So we'll go ahead and have her do a little painting here. And then I think I am going to just uh, speed through the night, and I'll see you guys again in the morning. All right, you guys, and it's the next morning. We've got Claire is waking up and needing to use the outhouse, so we'll let her go take care of that. And then she also needs to take a bath. And then I think we have probably gotten enough money at this point that we can go ahead and get the toddler's room set up. So I think that I will take care of that next. And then um, we'll watch them hopefully age up before we reach the end of this episode. Let's see. I want to actually have Samuel come in here. And I want him to repair this because that is a mess. And then he also is hungry and needs to take a shower. So uh, let's see. Can't put that in the sink quite yet. Oh, can we put it in the trash over here? Perfect. We'll just clean it up that way. And then I'm going to have her come and grab a serving. Have him grab a serving. What was that notification? Oh my 
my goodness, it's almost Esther's time, you guys. <laughs> um, I don't know that I'm ready to have her go. That's so sad. Oh, um, well, I guess she is an elder, so that does make sense. But um, that's just not what I had in mind for our our sweet Esther. Um, how's she doing? Here, she slept. She's just fine. Let's have her um, go ahead and mop that up, and then. Um, yeah, let's start thinking about what this toddler room is going to look like. So, I'm going to move on into build mode here. Okay, you guys, so I have gotten that done. Um, we've got our little meager toddler's room set up here. We've got a bed for each of them. I could only afford two toys. Um, <laughs> oops. Um, and I did want to get them a bookcase, so we do have that. Um, we're going to pretend like everything on there is period appropriate. And I know that like the little training toilets are not something that would have been around in the 1890s, but we don't have an alternative way to train them on that skill. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in here and we'll just pretend like that's, that's not problematic for our gameplay. So do you have a couple of high chairs ready to go? Um, and I think that we probably are ready to age them up. Let's see. When did we get that notification? Oh my goodness, all the screenshots. Uh, we got Rose's and Robert's birthdays. Let's see. Doesn't really give me a clue as to the fact that it's time. Um, and I kind of don't want them to just like age up without having a parent there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead. More choices. Age up. We're going to have her come do this one. More choices. Age up. I'm excited to see what they look like, you guys. Um, I love how she's like still excited from having a new baby, and they're not going to be babies anymore. <laughs> oh, hold on, we missed it. Oh, we can kind of see it right there. Can you kind of sort of see her? She's got dark brown hair like her mom. Okay, so let's see. Pick a trait. So this particular challenge doesn't require that you do um, any sort of randomized traits or anything like that. So I'm just going to pick some things this time around. If y'all would prefer me to randomize things, I'm happy to do that. Um, so just let me know in the comments below if that's something you're interested in seeing. So I'm going to make her be inquisitive. Oh, look at her. Let's see. What do you look like, sweet pea? Hold still. Hold still. Let's get this moment here. Oh, and we're going to miss it because he's raging up. <laughs> That's the problem with doing them at the same time. And we're going to have Robert be... Uh, he's going to be silly. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. So cute. Ah, and Robert's blonde like his daddy. <laughs> Oh, and look at the cute little glasses. I love it. Oh, that's so cute. All right. Well, they clearly need a little bit of a makeover so that they can be uh, period appropriate. And I will go ahead and I'll do that off camera so that you guys will have something to look forward to in our next episode. So thank you so much for watching this episode of my Decades Challenge. I'm so excited that we got to see our family grow up a little bit and to go ahead and get to see that new church lot. So if you have anything in particular you'd like to see me do in this Let's Play, please let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much, you guys. Bye, y'all.